When you are already in vacation, holiday is no longer sweet. After all, no pleasure without pain. What it is. I just randomly saw it at store and I was just so curious about what the taste is. Well, the question is how to open this. Oh, it's here. Oh, it says I should shake it before opening it. What? <laughs> should I put it back or something? Does that work? Should do it very carefully. Mmm, the mocha flavor is just so strong. I just finished packing up because I'm going to spend my national holiday in Shanghai at Al's house. So we're gonna meet here in Hangzhou first because he happens to have a business meeting here and then we're leaving for his place together. So I guess welcome to my casual, boring, no plan at all holiday vlog. Well, now that Annie is showed up in this vlog, I just want to have a quick answer to the question that I've been asked for some time. Why Annie is no longer in your vlog? Well, simply because I'm not the owner of Annie. She's Al's dog. Technically speaking, she's Al's parents' dog. She lived with me for some time when I was working and living in Shanghai. There's actually a very lovely story behind it. One day, Al and his 
his parents needed to get away from the city for a couple of days, so I'll just send Annie to my place, and I help to dog sitting her when they are away. But when I was back and ready to take Annie home, I was really feeling attached to her. After all, she's so cute and obedient. And Al just took the picture of me hugging Annie with unwilling face to let her go, and sent that picture to his parents. And his parents were just so nice to let me keep Annie around after seeing the pic. Then I moved for some new changes in my life, and Annie is just too old to long distance travel, and also having risk of living in a new environment since she just survived from a very serious surgery. So that's basically why she's not in my vlog anymore. I am back in the apartment. Also back to the long distance relationship. Well, actually it's not that long. Hangzhou and Shanghai is not that far anyway. And this could be the shortest distance relationship that I've ever had. I am one of the group who have experienced cross-country distance relationship and failed. Yeah, back at the time, we were just both not mature enough to get over the barriers that stuck in our relationship. Like there were a lot of trust issues, lack of communication and physical intimacy. There were just so many frustration because when we both needed each other, the other one was just not around because of the time difference and also the physical distance. And also a lot of misunderstanding due to the lack of communication or low quality communication. I have to admit that at that college age, I was just so easy to feel insecure, easy to get lost, easy to lose myself because I just paid too much attention to the other person which I think is my entire world and that was so bad and when it ended, I was like oh my god, I don't want a long distance relationship anymore it just sucks I'm just not the type of the girl who can handle it, okay? I will never ever ever date with someone in long distance Yes, but now I'm actually super comfortable in this long distance relationship. Not simply because Hangzhou and Shanghai is pretty close and it's convenient for us to see each other if we want. It's more of that we're both mature, independent adults who cherish the moment being together but also manage to live a wonderful life by ourselves. We've all got our own business to focus on. Al has been also doing great in giving me sense of security. We basically call every day before bed and we meet often on weekends. And he's been such a great supporter and enabler for me to find the things that I really want to do and step out of my comfort zone to get my hands dirty. So yeah, that's all I want to say. It may sound out of nowhere because I rarely talk about my relationship in this channel so far. This is really something that's been on my mind lately and I just want to share it out, especially if someone is going through hard long distance relationship or someone who hates long distance relationship as I used to be, here might be an inspiration to work on.
recommend this Seraf Moisturizing Cream to the people that have a similar skin type as mine. This is like super dry and sensitive skin friendly. I got this sample because I bought their lotion before, which I haven't opened yet. But this is such a surprise. I took it to Al's place when I was spending holiday there because it's just small and convenient to carry with. And it just turned out to be so good to use. I've already ordered like a regular one.